so weird. Where could it be? Oh, hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. I can't find my ukulele anywhere. I've looked all over the place. It's usually right here in the stand and it's just gone. Can you help me find it? Oh, good. Let me know if you see it anywhere. It's up there. It's where? Oh, what are you doing way up there, ukulele? Oh, come on down. It's singing time. Come on now, let's go. This is no time to float the day away. Let's go, come on. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better, isn't it? All right, guys, now we can sing the hello song. I want you guys to clap to the steady beat. Listen closely though, because I might change things up a little bit. I'm super tricky, so make sure you stop when I stop. Here we go. Hello, hello. Clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody, clap. Ah. <laughs> I didn't do it. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Oh, you guys are so much fun to sing that song with. Oh, do you guys hear that really big, beautiful sound? I wonder what it could be. Let's go investigate. Come on. Oh, wow. Boys and girls, do you know what this is? This giant mass of streams of pipes behind me is an instrument. It's all one instrument. All that sound is coming from this pipe organ behind me. Wow, it is huge. It takes a really skilled musician to play one of these. You know who was an amazing musician at just not playing the organ, but writing beautiful music for it? Bach. You've heard of Bach, of course. Wait, you haven't? Oh man, I wish you guys could meet him. He was a genius. Well, hey, there's an idea. You know what I always say, boys and girls, if you can dream it, you can do it. Come on, we're on our way to meet Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach was born March 31st in 1685. That makes him even older than Mozart and Beethoven. Like Mozart and Beethoven, Bach came from a very musical family. His relatives all had some sort of job dealing with music. His own father, Johann Ambrosius Bach, was a musician at the court of Saxe Eisenach. So it is no surprise that the little Johann Sebastian Bach would become nothing but a superb musician and artist himself. He was made organist to the Duke of Saxe Weimar. At the Duke's court, there was a chapel with an organ. Bach composed many of his great organ works at this time, like the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, which is very well known today. He became very famous as an organist and was invited to play in other big churches and to give advice on organ building. He was extremely good at improvisation, which means he just made the music up in his head as he went along. He became so good at writing pieces, he was soon offered another job that paid much more money. The Duke, not wanting Bach to leave his chapel, begged him not to go. Bach refused. 
So the Duke put Bach in prison for a month. In the end, he had to let the musician go. Now that was quite the temper tantrum. Bach wrote so many pieces, contributing so much to the world with his beautiful music during his life. He died of a stroke. But his story doesn't end there. His music was so profound that even a hundred years after his death, people rediscovered his works, bringing it new life and releasing back into the world the pure joy and reverence of Johann Sebastian Bach's music. Great, you guys are Bach. Get it? Bach. <laughs> you guys are Bach. You guys are Bach. No, not funny. Okay, well, we'll just move on. <laughs> I was just organizing my tempos. Do you guys want to help me? Great, I can use all the help I can get. Now, a tempo tells us how fast or how slow we need to play our music. Some tempos are super slow, like a snail or a turtle. And some are super fast, like a rabbit. That's why I have all these pictures here. They will help us organize all our tempos. Let's start with the first one, shall we? Largo. Ah, uh, Largo. This is the most laid back of all the tempos. It goes super slow. <laughs> What animal do you see that moves super slow? The turtle. You're right. A turtle does move super slow. But you know what? I think I see an animal that moves even slower than a turtle. Do you see which one it is? The snail. It's the snail. You're right. The snail is much slower than a turtle, probably because it's smaller. But either way, it's the slowest one up here. So it goes with Largo. Come on, snail. You belong with Largo. <laughs> Adagio. Now Adagio is just a little faster than Largo, but it's still very slow. What animal do you think belongs with Adagio? Now it's the turtle. Yeah, now it's the turtle. <laughs> Adagio, slow you go, like a turtle, don't you know? <laughs> Now, boys and girls, we are going to go right to the middle. This isn't fast. It isn't slow. It's right in the middle, in between. It's called moderato. <laughs> it's like taking a nice walk in the sunshine. Anything you see that's like that? The boy! Wow, I thought for sure that one was going to trick you. But you're right, the boy is taking a walk. That's a nice pace, right in the middle. All right, kiddo, over to a moderato. <laughs> tempo that has a happy little prance to it. A little bit faster than moderato. And I know the perfect animal that has a prance to his step. Do you guys see him? It's the deer. Yes, the deer. He moves faster than the boy walking for sure. And he walks with a happy prance to his step. Move it on over, deer. Allegro, allegro, a prancing you will go. <laughs> And now 
boys and girls, that means there's only one animal that can fit with our fastest tempo. Presto! <laughs> it's the rap. Hey! Well, where'd our rabbit go? I know it was just here. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't just any rabbit. I nearly forgot. This rabbit I actually got from a magician. He's a trained rabbit, so he won't come out until we've spoken the magic words. Hang on. That's better. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Now, on the count of three, we have to say the magic word really loud, and we'll make the rabbit appear. Oh, wait, what was the magic word again? What was the last tempo we had? Presto! Oh, yes, presto, you're right. All right, on the count of three, we'll say presto really loud, and we'll make the rabbit appear uh, in my hat. Perfect. All right, you guys ready? One, two, three, presto! Well, that didn't work. We must not have said it loud enough. All right, you guys, give it all you've got this time. Here we go. Oh, I really got to concentrate and get my magic flowing. All right, one, two, three, presto! Look, boys and girls, we did it! Oh, you silly rabbit, now you get to where you belong with presto. Lickety split, just like a rabbit should be. Well done, you guys. Oh, guys, we finished all of our tempos, yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your help today. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh, do you hear that? It's singing time. Come on, let's go. Just 
go out, the people holy shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da 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 da. Ooh. All right, no fair. Presto! 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 We're not doing presto. No, anything but presto. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That's my name too. Whenever I go out, the people holy shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da 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 da. We shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer, John Jacob Jingleheimer, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, thank goodness. Whoa! Uh, little help? It's story time. The Tortoise and the Hare, adapted by Teresa Mlauer, illustrated by Orja Guillar. Once upon a time, there was a hare who boasted that he could run faster than anyone. He was always teasing the tortoise because she was too slow. One sunny summer day, the tortoise was walking slowly along the forest, enjoying the beautiful scenery. Suddenly, the hare crossed her path and, making fun of her, said, What's the big rush? Upset by his comment, the tortoise said, Why do you make fun of me? No one doubts you are a fast runner, but the faster runner is not always the one who wins the race. Upon hearing this, the hare started laughing. <laughs> Who's going to beat me? You? That's really silly. There is no one who can beat me. I am the fastest runner in the world. I challenge you to a race. The tortoise, annoyed at the hare's bragging, accepted the challenge. Plans for the race were soon underway, and the race was set to take place at dawn the very next day. The morning of the race, all the forest animals gathered at the starting line. Everyone thought that the hare would win, but secretly they were rooting for the tortoise. At the agreed time, the duck, with a loud quack quack, gave the signal to start the race. The hare began leaping and running very fast, while the tortoise plodded along. The hare was confident he was way ahead of the slow-moving tortoise. But since he was still a little tired from getting up so early for the race, he decided it would be a good time to take a rest. He turned back to the tortoise and teasingly said, yeah, take your time. I'm gonna rest for a while, and if you pass me, <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a minute. When the hare woke up, he realized that he still had a good lead over the tortoise, who had barely covered a short distance. Since the hare did not have breakfast that morning, he decided to stop and munch on some lettuce sprouts he saw growing on the side of the road. The hare felt sleepy after having so much to eat under the hot sun. After checking that he still had a lead over the tortoise, he decided to take a nap under the shadow of an oak tree. In the meantime, the tortoise continued to advance slowly but surely. Tired but determined, she lifted her long neck and was happy to see that she was very, very close to the finish line. It was precisely at that moment, upon hearing the cheers from the crowd, that the hare woke up with a startle. When he realized that the tortoise was very close to the finish line, he got up with a jolt and started jumping and running. Everyone was screaming, dancing, and clapping for the tortoise. Realizing that the hare was very close behind, the tortoise gave one last push. 
she stretched her long neck as far as she could and touched the finish line first. The tortoise had won the race. The hare, exhausted, collapsed beside the happy tortoise. Even though the hare didn't win, he learned a good lesson. The faster runner is not always the one who wins the race. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. I'm so glad you were able to join us for music class today. But now it's time to sing the goodbye song. I want to make sure that you keep watching all the way to the end of our video so that you can answer the secret question at the end. Being able to hear from you each week brings a great big smile to my face and it makes my heart super happy. All right, you guys, let's sing the goodbye song. Hey there, my little gumshoes. Boy, did we have a great day of learning about Bach and all the different tempos. But that's not all I need to know. I need some information from my gumshoes. Last week, we had some great answers to our question. Here's Charlie with the answer to her secret question. Hi, Miss Thomas. I like to go camping on the mountain with my family. Thank you, Miss Thomas. Wow, Charlie, I bet your family loves to do that with you as well. I know I would. <laughs> now, boys and girls, the secret question this week is, if you could choose any pet in the world, what would you choose? <laughs> Answer in the comments below and, oh, the rabbit got out. <laughs> do yourself a favor, boys and girls, and don't pick a rabbit unless you want some seriously adorable antics. <laughs> oh, hey, there he goes. Hmm, I better follow that rabbit. He's a tricky one. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time on my music class. Hmm. I feel like following a rabbit might lead me into some trouble. Eh, I'm up for an adventure. Bye.